Now to begin the quest, you'll have to enter Portfast Matis. If you don't want to do it via Ecto tokens, go ahead and use a charter ship to enter Portfast Matis. Speak to Bellarina. Chat options on screen. Speak to Necrovarus just north at the Ectofunctus. Now if you don't have a bucket of slime yet, this is your chance to go get one. Speak to Valerina once again. Choose the first chat option. Now head to the Slayer Tower. Just east, you're gonna find an NPC, the Old Crone. Speak to her. Choose the first chat option. You'll receive an empty cup of tea. Go ahead and carefully use your nettle tea on it, then use the milk on the tea. Speak to the old crone once again, choose first chat option. Go ahead and left click the model ship to repair it and head to the ship just north of the Mauritania farming patch. Climb all the way up. Now what you want to do here is keep searching the mass when the wind speed is on low. You're going to find for the bottom half, top half and the skull emblem of the ship. Now of course this is all luck based, so expect to be here a minute or two. But once you've figured out the three colors, mix the appropriate colors if needed. As you can see in my case, top blue, bottom yellow, and the skull is purple. I only had to mix for the purple. Once you've applied the color, climb down the stairs once and talk to the old man. Choose the third chat option. You will now receive a key. Go ahead and open the chest in the room to receive a map piece. On the same floor, you'll find a gangplank. Go ahead and cross it. Now the obstacles are pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and jump and reach the end. Open the chest to obtain another map piece. Head to the bottom floor of the ship. Open the chest on the far right as shown here on the map. A lobster monster will appear. Just go ahead and slay it. Place the map pieces together and head to the Port Fast Mantis docks. Speak to the ghost captain. Choose the first chat option. Now go ahead and use the follow option on the map. 
or walk the steps shown below. Now once you reach, you'll appear right in front of a statue. Go ahead and stand right beside the statue so his arm is above your head. Now once you're there, right click on your map and click on the follow option and follow the instructions on screen now. Once you've obtained the book, head back to Portfast Mantis. And talk to the samurai outside where you buy the bolt racks. Choose the first chat option. Head to the inn nearby and speak to Robin. Chat options on screen. Now you'll have to win four games of Rune Draw, which is basically just blackjack. But once you have won four times in a row, he'll sign the Oak Shield Bow for you. Head back to the Samurai with the bow, and you'll obtain a translation manual. Head back to the inn and talk to the innkeeper. Chat options on screen. Now he mentions how you have to give the bed sheets to Robin, but do not do that. Use your bucket of slime on the bed sheet and wear it. Now you're going to have to walk around the town to obtain 10 signatures. Now it can be a little frustrating to remember which one you have, which one you have not talked to. Some of them will sign if you have only tokens. So at this point you will actually need some tokens. Now, once you've obtained 10 signatures, head to Necrovarus. He'll destroy the signatures, but he'll drop a key in the process. Grab the key, head upstairs, and enter this small shack. Open and search the coffin in there for some mystical robes. Now return to the old crone with the robes. Choose the first chat option. Equip the enchanted ghost speak amulet that she'll give you and speak to Necrovarius. Chat option one.
Now lastly, speak to Veloria once again. And quest complete.